If I'm going to stand there 18 hours in a dress, I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. <laughs> There's going to be so many stories that come from the set about how difficult I am to work with. There's a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Weird. Come on. And if you disagree with this sentiment, just hit the unfollow button. I don't need your business. Thanks. Why are you the way that you are? There's no denying that Rachel Zegler has been huge news this week, but it hasn't been positive. With her putting out that statement on her Instagram saying that she hopes Trump supporters never know peace, that's led to so many people talking about her and making the comparisons to her and Gina Carano. At this moment, I haven't done anything wrong. And, you know, Disney not intervening and doing anything about it. Now, the next day, she obviously put out a PR apology that, in my opinion, was not written by her. But in my previous videos, I had mentioned that the Snow White trailer was coming by the end of this month, and it looks like that is correct. On November 12th, The Hollywood Handle put out this tweet. A new trailer for Disney's Snow White live action film has been rated and is ready to release with a two minute, 27 second runtime releasing soon. Now, other sites like this had reported that the Snow White trailer was going to be released by the end of November. November. And then today it was reported that the Snow White trailer was going to reportedly drop this week. You're kidding me! God! And this news comes from this account right here, who has been right in the past of a lot of, you know, Marvel and Disney news and updates. So I tend to believe this account. Now he doesn't mention a specific day, but this account right here, and I'm not sure how true this is, this account right here says that it could possibly get released on Tuesday the 19th, along with the new How to Train Your Dragon trailer, Sonic 3 trailer, and the Minecraft trailer. Now this trailer had already released at D23 in Brazil and so a lot of the fans that were there already got to see that trailer but it hasn't yet been released worldwide so that's what everyone is waiting for and I noticed that Disney Plus when you search Snow White on Disney Plus the live action Snow White movie comes up now I'm not sure if this has always been there but it's certainly there now and I'm wondering if it's on here now because they're going to start promoting Snow White Snow White releases I believe in March so that's just four months away they need to start marketing this movie already I'm gonna stay there are 18 hours in a dress I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. <laughs> And that's also one of the reasons that I think that Disney made her apologize because they're about to drop the new Snow White trailer and they can't have their princess, their Snow White, telling half of America, 72 million people, that she wishes that they do not know peace. Come on. Oh no, God! And if you disagree with this sentiment, just hit the unfollow button. I don't need your business. Thanks. Stop it! I put, yup, the Snow White trailer is coming. They can't have that bad Rachel Zegler press. This is why she apologized. And I've been saying that since I started reporting on Rachel Zegler and this whole Trump meltdown mess. I've been saying that the trailer is going to drop later this month. And they put so much work into repairing her image. She could have completely screwed Disney with this one Instagram rant. No! So many people are talking about this. So much negative press towards Rachel Zegler. So many people calling for her to be removed and fired just like Gina Carano, including Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly demands Disney fire Rachel Zegler over her Trump post. This woman is a pig. Megyn Kelly urged Disney to fire Rachel Zegler and branded the star of the studio's Snow White reboot a pig after Zegler threw an F-bomb at President Donald Trump. Let's listen to what she has to say. There's something wrong with this person. She's also known as the star of Snow White and the, the Disney movie. Remember, she was out like a couple of years ago being like, oh, there's certainly not going to be a prince rescuing me. I can tell you that. Yep, we know that. Roll the clip. <laughs> and we absolutely wrote a Snow White. She's that is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. The, the original cartoon came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. It's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. And then Disney, even Disney got on its heels and they're like, we're gonna reshoot the movie immediately. Like we're, we're gonna make some changes because there was so much backlash to her arrogance. Well, she's back and she's very, 
very upset about the Trump win. Megyn Kelly goes on to read Rachel Zegler's Donald Trump rant on Instagram. We don't have to listen to her read that. What comes afterwards is what's interesting. Oh, um, man. Hello, Disney. You're going to have to redo your film again because this woman is a pig and you fired Gina Carano for far less than this nonsense. Yes, 100 percent. Disney has fired Gina Carano for a lot less. I went over that in my last video. Go and check that out if you haven't already. The fact that so many people are telling Disney you're going to have to reshoot your movie again because this is such a problematic actress or you know what? Just dump your movie on Disney Plus. Nobody's going to watch it in the theater. You're going to lose money. Just Take the L. What's interesting to me is the next thing that she says later on in her podcast. Let's listen. Picture a Broadway actress who issued a post saying F Biden supporters. May Biden or Kamala never have a moment's peace. That person would be fired so fast it would make your head spin. They wouldn't last one more minute in any Hollywood role. It's this is truly like she has to go. I'm sorry, Disney. She has to go. Yes. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if a conservative in Hollywood had said the exact same thing? They would be fired so quick, just like Gina Carano was. Just like Gina Carano was. I was fired February 2021. Well, so that's five months later. And there was a lot of torture oh, in that five What happened? They would have been fired so quick. But no, Rachel Zegler, she put this out. Nobody, nobody knew about it. She was able to put this out and have zero consequences until I went and found him and shared him on my Twitter. And this is why so many people have a problem with this because of the double standard in Hollywood. If you have the correct opinions, you get to say whatever you want without any repercussions. And when you don't, you end up getting fired. So we'll see how this all plays out once the trailer gets dropped. Will people forgive Rachel Zegler or will it lead to another trailer disaster for Disney? The first one got 1.3 million dislikes with the negative press surrounding their princess. Will it lead to more? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.